I'm Mark Henry and I'm the founder and development engineer at Solid Technics and I've had several decades uh, experience in this industry developing equipment for chefs all around the world. That's what I do. Way back in university when I developed the first Fury knives and uh, all the chefs said, well, you've made a one-piece knife. Why don't you do that with cookware? Because these rivets drive us crazy and if we've got plastic or other materials, they just don't survive. To make a seamless one-piece pan body and handle, no rivets, no welds, no nothing. And uh, everyone told me it was impossible. Unless it's the old, you know, beat one out for hammer the way it's been done for 3,000 years, not really viable these days. So I tried to find a way to do it with machines. So Chef, we're out in the uh, workshop now, it's going to get uh, really interesting. Absolutely. Because in front of you is a very special machine, very confidential, we're not going to spin the camera around, uh, but we want you to see how this pan comes off the machine. I can't wait. Starts with a flat sheet of steel, right? What's yeah. It? Oh. Now that's not how I expected the pan to meet. No. Not at all. No one expects it. That's why we keep it secret. No one else is doing this to make a one-piece pan. This is amazing. Chef, that's why we got the pattern. So I'm a little excited because my new non just arrived. Ever since I used it the first time, we've been using them for all our caterings, the cooking classes, everything that we do because they're so versatile and so reliable. One piece of metal, they clean very quickly, they hold the heat. I was hooked from the very beginning, from the very first one I had, and now look at me. Maybe I'm addicted. Very low maintenance, cooks like iron, but cleans like stainless steel. It's a world first. It's all about the durability and the conductivity. They become family heirlooms. So that's why on every pan we make we stamp the date and the reason is that in several generations time people will be looking back and saying wow way back in ancient 2020 they really got this right because we're still cooking on it 500 years later. Is that a bad business model? Because everyone's going to stop. I get, asked, I get asked this all the time. In fact I think you've asked me at least three times on video. <laughs> so yeah we do get asked a lot. You can't survive too long. Once you've sold your pans to every household, your products are going to last so long that there's no obsolescence in effect and you'll be out of business. Yeah, that may be true. If I've come up with nothing else, then I'll be out of business and then my job's done. 12 million disposable pans going in the landfill every year. Now, if every household had our pans, there'd be zero. Yes, legacy for me is not monetary, it's leaving the spirit of manufacturing things that are more than just objects.